This young puffling lost his way, but thanks to the Witless Bay Puff Patrol, he'll have a second chance. <laughs> At this time of year, young puffins called pufflings are just leaving their nests. On a clear night, they follow the moon, but when it's cloudy or foggy, they can be attracted to artificial lights in towns, and it can end badly. Sometimes they stand in the middle of the road, and they think two moons, and then they got hit by a car. Last night, the puffin patrol saved 22 birds, but even after they're rescued, there can be close calls. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 come over. Take some, take. <laughs> Mark, you got it. Yes. <laughs> but this is where the real action happens, at the beach. It's very cool. Once the birds are rescued here, they're measured, swabbed, and weighed. 270 grams. It's an effort that engages hundreds of people like Natalie Smart, who's been saving puffins for about half her life. I don't know, it's a great feeling to let them go up in the air. It has been great for tourism, but the mayor of Whitless Bay says these little birds have had a big impact on something that can't be measured in dollars. It's beautiful to see everyone come together and uh, work as a team to, to this one beautiful end to save these baby chicks. Okay, here we go. So far, thousands of birds like these have been released. And here's how the grand finale happens. Once the researchers have what they need, the wayward fledglings are brought to the water's edge and given a flying boost back towards the islands they came from. Mark Quinn, CBC News, Whitless Bay.